These amazing prints are examples of German Expressionism as done by students of Miriam Paternoster in Mezzo Lombardo, Italy. If you haven't seen her website, it's artiscula.com. You should check it out. Uh, this is the art project. Thanks for clicking on my video. If you uh, haven't subscribed, please do so and uh, hit the little bell so you'll get future uh, notifications of future videos. And uh, give me a thumbs up if the video is helpful in any way. So these are examples of German Expressionism. Very dramatic and uh, emotional as done by students of uh, Miss Paternoster. And so uh, I'm going to show you how I think she did them, or at least how I did them. You're going to need some soft cut, uh, a knife to cut it with, pencils, erasers, ink, scrap paper, inking plates, and a brayer. So I took a piece of scrap paper and I traced the same size of the soft cut. That's soft cut spelled with a K, S-O-F-T-K-U-T, -T. and I think it's called something else in Italy. Um, I drew my portrait on it, uh, not as handsome as I am in real life, of course, but uh, kind of a stylized version. Uh, you don't want it to be too detailed because it's hard to cut the soft cut. Uh, this is probably more detailed than uh, most people would be able to get. I didn't get all of this detail when I cut, so um, just kind of keep it simple. I chose a star because I like stars. I was going to do zigzags, but then I decided to go with the star. Um, I put it on a window um, upside down, and I traced on the back of it so that I could see the image that uh, I had on the front. After doing this, I took it and I taped it to the soft cut, or actually I taped the soft cut to the scrap paper. I used uh, painter's tape so that it would be easier to remove and wouldn't tear the paper too much. And then I flipped it over and retraced uh, the image that I had drawn on the front. This way it transfers to the soft cut so that I can see what I need to uh, cut. To make it a little bit more obvious, I also went over it with Sharpie. Then I began to cut it out uh, slowly and carefully. You don't want to cut your hand. Uh, the soft cut is very soft and so it's a little easier to cut and so you're not as likely to have to push real hard and that's what really causes accidents when you're um, cutting with this knife. So it's not quite as dangerous as, usual, as uh, cutting linoleum or wood. Um, I used two different blades. I used a, a large V shape and every now and then I would change my knife out and use a smaller V shape, V cutter. Don't worry too much about perfect details. Uh, one of the beauties of uh, printmaking is the well, just kind of the edges of uh, what prints. Uh, it's not always straight and perfect, uh, at least not in soft cut and um, block prints. It's a really uh, interesting uh, texture. Take your time and, and cut out uh, you know whatever you think you need to. Do not cut it all out the first time though because we're going to do two colors and uh, so what I'm cutting out right now is going to stay white uh, for the entire uh, print and will not ever receive any color. But whatever I leave uh, is going to be printed red and then I'm going to cut out some more and what I cut out more of will stay red and what I leave behind will become black. I think that's confusion, confusing, but uh, you'll see as we go. So I squared out a little red on the inking plate and took the brayer and I rolled it. 
What you want to do is change your brayer back and forth different directions so that it evens it out on the brayer. You want a nice even uh, coat of ink on the brayer so that you can get a nice even coat of ink on the print. Then you're going to place a piece of paper over the top of it and press it down and if you have a spoon you can use a metal spoon or a plastic spoon or a specially made device called a Baron. When you peel it up you want to double check and make sure it's not um, uh, make sure that it has printed all the way. So uh, I came up with a method for doing a registration. It's kind of a plate with a hole in it for the print that the paper fits into the top of and this way I can print in the exact same place on every sheet of paper and that way I can also line the black up when I do it. I did 20 of them so that I could hopefully come out with a few uh, perfect ones. And now <clears throat> I've washed the uh, print block off uh, even though it it's still red. I've actually washed it and that everything you see there that's red is dry. And then I slowly took away what I want to remain red. If I want it to remain red, I am carving it out. Uh, that way no ink, no black ink will get on those spots. And when I print it, it will stay red. So I wanted the inside of the star to be red. So I'm carving all of that out. Also wanted uh, sort of a, a vignette in the corners, and so I carved out uh, around the star a little bit. And now I'm going to print the black. Again, you want to get a nice even coat of ink on the brayer, so I'm rolling it back and forth very carefully, um, more than one direction. Uh, keeping it all on the plate. And now I'm putting it on the ink block, on the printing block. And now I'm going to put my registration plate. So I made this out of foam pour. I'm going to try and do another video where you can see how I did that. Um, but uh, put it in the middle of it and then put the paper in it. Took my metal spoon and made sure I smushed it all down very carefully peel it up to see if it printed and it did fantastic now only 20 more to go I rub, roll uh, ink back onto the printing block put the registration plate over it put the piece of paper into it rub it and then uh, peel it up Perfect. Now I've only got 19 more to go. Now, while this video is pretty short, this actually took me all day long to do. So, um, set aside a couple of class periods for it. Uh, this was the red before I printed the black onto it, and this is after I printed the black onto it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you can get some block prints made. Now it's your turn. Go and make some art. Daddy, I saw up and place it dry and leave a comment down below.